and welcome back to my home organic garden I appreciate you all being here and it's a beautiful day today in the garden to connect with nature and I'll be harvesting my peppers and few other vegetables today just wanted to share that with you I promise I'll be you know updating you guys on how things are going in the garden these peppers have come a long way if you've been following me i made a video on how my peppers struggled you know with cold weather and pests and here we are today they overcame their challenges and they are producing good quality peppers after two months so here i have broccoli that i'll be harvesting i also have tomatoes to harvest and few other vegetables from the garden so that's what's going on in the garden wanted to share that with you so my tomatoes are ripening as you can see uh every few days i have to come to the garden to pick some tomatoes i have to get these tomatoes out because i have pests slugs and i have um uh, some animals that are running around my backyard. I have, you know, squaws, I have rabbits, so I have to pick these tomatoes as often as I can. I have varieties of tomatoes in my garden. I have indeterminate tomatoes, I have determinant tomato, like the Roma tomatoes are the determinant tomatoes. And uh, here I have uh, my squash. I picked few squash the other day, so I'll be getting the small one there out today as well. So these peppers have grown quite big. Yes, this is my giant Makani pepper. Look at how big these peppers are. So I'm getting them out today because I've noticed that some slugs are beginning to attack some of my pepper fruit. So I'm just going to go ahead and get them out. Uh, you can harvest pepper at any stage. You can harvest peppers when they are green, when they are red. At any stage, you can eat your pepper. So I'm getting these peppers out so the pepper plants can have more room to produce more pepper fruit for me. So with these peppers I'm harvesting today, I'll wash the peppers, slice them, and I'll save them in a Ziploc bag and save in the freezer so this is a good feeling this is a good harvest so my peppers struggled a lot i made a video on that in the past and here we are today look at this giant makani pepper how big they are these peppers are very very big the camera is not doing them justice because they are very big look at my bunny green pepper that's my bunny bell pepper guys so these bell peppers are looking so so gorgeous and they are very very big so that's what's going on wanted to share that with you see uh that's a slug bite right there so i will check that pepper out make sure there's no slug inside the pepper and here is my broccoli this will be my fourth harvest you know my fourth broccoli harvest for the season look at how big this broccoli is looking this is awesome guys so that's it i've harvested all the peppers today from the garden and that's a lot of pepper look at that that's a lot of pepper so now my pepper plants will have more room to produce more peppers for me i have to harvest as often as i can uh, because I have pests in the garden and I do not use a spray of any kind in my garden because all I grow is organic vegetables. So that's why I have to, you know, harvest as often as I can, you know. So that's what's going on in the garden. Here are the tomatoes. I'm getting these tomatoes out. Look at that tomato is rotten, you know, so I'm... Um, burying it in the soil so it will add nutrients and you know to the soil so nothing goes waste guys so if the if the vegetable is not good i bury it in the soil so you can you know add nutrients to the soil so here i'm harvesting these tomatoes some of the tomatoes that are beginning to ripen 
but not all the way soft i you know as you can see i go ahead and i pick that tomato out give it a few days that tomato will soften so the ones that are not fully ripping i still harvest them you know within two three days they will ripen and soften for me to eat so i'm doing this i'm harvesting even the ones that are not fully ripen the reason is because i have some animals running around my garden i have squirrels and i also have rabbits sometimes they feast on these tomatoes and i also have few pests in the garden especially the slugs the slugs can feast on these tomatoes as well so i saw a few of my tomatoes that you know the slugs are beginning to feast on so that's why i have to harvest as often as I can so I just wanted to share with you what's going on in the garden so you get to see how the vegetables in the garden are doing I promise I'll be updating you from time to time so you get to see what's happening in the garden so even the uh, tomato fruit that are not fully ripened uh, you can still eat tomato uh, fruit green. I, I still eat my tomato green when they are green. I make what I call green stew, green uh, tomato stew with my green um, tomatoes. So either way you can still eat your tomato when they are ripping or when they are green you can make tomato green stew with them. So this is my harvest today with my tomatoes see how beautiful these tomatoes are looking and everything in this garden is organic so i have few cucumbers that i'm harvesting so i have three of them that are ready so i'm just gonna go ahead and harvest them look at that they are looking so gorgeous so that's it i have a little bit of uh, uh everything in my garden so i have few vegetables a little bit of everything so that's what i do and um and it's uh, exciting for me and everything here is organic like i said i do not use pesticide i do not use synthetic fertilizer i use what nature has provided to produce my food like the kitchen scraps, coffee grind, uh, eggshell, I crush the eggshell, I bury all these organic materials in my soil. Over time, they break down and I grow my organic vegetables. So if you've been following me, you will know that I encourage organic gardening. So on this side, I have my uh, vegetables. I have my kale, I have my collard green, I have my cabbage, I have my Swiss chard, you know, I also have my spinach. So on this section of my garden, this garden raised bed, as you can see, I crop grow my vegetables. So that way I can harvest more vegetables. So that's what's going on in the garden, guys. And uh, I also have here, you know, these beautiful vegetables and uh, i also have pumpkin that's pumpkin right there the pumpkin is actually beginning to take over the whole garden raised bed so i'll be harvesting these vegetables as well so i've been harvesting a lot of these vegetables my kale my collard greens uh, my swiss chard and the other vegetables in my garden so I've harvested quite a lot this season so far. So I'm just going to go ahead and get all this out. So that's what's going on in the garden. Just feel I should share that with you as always. Thank you all so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And while you're at it, please hit the like button, hit the notification bell. So you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. And please hit the share button share this video like it so the algorithm can you know push this video to a wider audience and to my returning subscribers you guys are awesome amazing thank you all for your support i really really appreciate you 
and this is my harvest for today lots of harvest guys lots of harvest from my garden my home organic garden this is it guys this is it this is my harvest that's what's going on in the garden guys I appreciate you all watching and thank you for stopping by. Bye for now.